creativity means to me being able to express yourself without having to sort of answer why. And I think a lot of that for me comes from when I was growing up um, when I was 14, you know, getting into punk and seeing that raw message of, you know, this music, it changes the world, you know, it has a meaning behind it. Um, you don't have to explain why you're doing it. It's a good message to follow and a good mantra for not just music, but for everyone creative involved, you know. There's no right or wrong way and it, you know, it shouldn't be confined. And if you want to be creative, just do it. I guess for as long as I can remember, I've always drawn and done art. I would always get like art supplies for like Christmas and birthday and things. So I was really encouraged to be creative from quite a young age. My mum was a graphic designer. I think it was just in my blood to be a creative person. Like school results clearly showed I wasn't an academic. <laughs> uh, I always was like the most excited, oh, it's art next, or I get to go make things and paint things and draw stuff. here today to collaborate so I'm going to play uh, my music and my influences and what summarizes my whole style and um, Emily is then going to sort of feed off that and um, draw on the amp and kind of make a visual representation of what my music means to her. I started playing guitar when I was 14 and um, I just did it out of the love of wanting to be in a band. At that point I already played like keyboard, um, so I already had like a musical sort of um, experience in learning an instrument. I had a friend up the road, he was a punk, he really loved punk music and he just introduced me to this world of like music I'd never listened to otherwise. With punk I got into a lot of post-punk, um, so I started listening to stuff like Joy Division and it just sort of like sprung from there really. excited and scared by it because it's such a blank canvas and you really can just do anything to it. I've got too many things buzzing about. <laughs> I'm excited. It's going to be good. So we're back at Northern Guitars to see the amp reveal of the artwork done by Emily. So very excited to see what she's done over the past month. Okay. What? Oh my God. This is good. This is so nice. So with the amp, I kind of focused on how his music used to be and like what got him into music. And one of the things that really stood out to me was keyboard. And that seems to be something that's kind of followed through. So that's why it's, it's bigger here because it was more of an influence at the beginning and it's small around the other side. Um, I tried to pick out quite punk related things that like you look at it and think like anarchy and tartan and like DIY. I kind of tried to bring around the tartan onto this front because it's still like a part of like who he is and like what he enjoys. I kind of didn't really know when to stop. There was no chill with painting it. I think once the ideas were there and kind of what I wanted to do like a who he was versus like who he is kind of now and then that kind of joining in the middle. That was something that I knew I wanted to do. The detail is insane. All the little things are just like, they all, they all add up. It's been interesting to kind of see somebody's life in such detail and tried to pick out the most like, notable bits to put on the amp. Like, the way he answered questions that I asked made him come across as quite an interesting, like quite colourful person. So I tried to just translate that onto the amp. After this project, like, just seeing this and how much detail emily has gone into my life, um, kind of makes me, like, didn't realise, you know, I'm not saying I'm an interesting person, but you, you've just said, like, there's a lot of colour. And, like, after this project, I'm definitely learned a little bit more about myself. Like, it's definitely inspired me. The amount of hours she's put in, it does show like at the end of the day, if you put you know a lot of time, a lot of effort into something, it will it will go far. And obviously that is like something with musicians, you know, you'll you hit a lot of bum notes, you'll like play a few bad gigs, but in the long haul it's definitely worth it. <laughs> 